Hey guys, Mike here. I know I probably mentioned this in some previous videos, but this is my kayak. It's an old town sportsman 106, which means it's 10 foot 6 inches long. PDL, which means it's the pedal drive kayak. I have not spent enough man hours on this thing to give a full review. This is a 2023 model. So far, the four or five hours I have spent on it, I absolutely love it. Now, I do need to get a couple fishing rod holders on mine on the right and left hand side. That was the only drawback I saw while I was in the water. They do have a front one on the left that faces forward for tying on lures or changing your tackle out. And then they got two facing backwards, which I used the, the, these a bunch when I was just fishing around, throwing a lure. But I need to get this dang thing out of the floor. If you can't tell by the video, this is a single car garage. I have limited workspace. I got stuff I got to get moved in here. So my sweetie for my birthday bought me the kayak horse system. Um, I will get the full name of it. I think it says it on here somewhere. I think it's by Rad Sports or something like that. I will make sure that I get that in the video. Um, I will show you as much as I can on this and show you how to install this. But I, for the life of me, I cannot find my tripod and I don't have a cameraman today. So we're just going to do the best we can and wing it. So I will start showing y'all some stuff and we'll try to get this kayak up on the ceiling out of my way. According to the instructions on this kit, it said to measure your kayak and find the center point. Well, I measured from the rudder back there all the way to the tip, which gave me 10 foot, nine inches. So that would be five foot and four and a half inches would be the center point of this kayak. Then it said in the instructions to find, <coughs> pardon me, the best suitable spot to mount your straps. Well, you come in here and I want my straps on the widest point. So that gives me 34 inches. And then I'll come back here and measure this at the widest point where I feel like it's safe from that same point and decide where I want my strap back here. And I'm doing all this because your board that you mount this kit to needs to be, per the instructions, four or five inches longer than your measurement down here. Then on top of that, which I'm going to have to get a ladder out. Excuse my messy workbench. I'm moving. Don't, don't make fun of me. Then I got to measure from the wall, that wall, and make sure when I raise the kayak up, it does not hit the walls or it's not in my way. Well, I have a light right here over my workbench. I got to make sure I keep that kayak far enough from that light that that heat doesn't warp my kayak if I decide to use that light or if I want to mount a fluorescent light behind that kayak to use that workbench. So I got to keep that in mind. So I'm thinking probably right here is where I want that kayak mounted. I just want to make sure that I don't hit that wall. And then down here on the floor, the mess I got to clean up and organize so I can get this done. There's a step. But what I'm hoping to do and this is another video. I'm going to have a kayak cart. So I only have to lower it so far down on my kayak cart. Roll it straight out to the garage. Straight onto the kayak trailer. Grab my accessories and go fishing. So I'm going to do some more measuring. I'm going to get a 2x4 cut. Then I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do that's a little bit different than instructions. But I think it's going to be a lot better. Okay guys. Uh, done some measuring. 
I think from the center point, from the back, I want to come 32. And up in front, I want to go 34. Um, that gives me the widest point on this kayak in two places. Now, that comes up to 66 inches. So I need to add some to that 2 by 4 So I'm going to add six more inches. That gives me a six foot long 2 by 4 which is 72 inches. And that should be more than plenty. Now, in the instructions, they say to turn this 2 by 4 like this and mount it to a 1 by 4 Well, I really kind of don't like that idea because I just don't think with the big old lag screws in the 1 by 4 it's going to be strong enough that for my liking. So I'm going to do it like this and mount this in the middle and then bolt this to here with enough room. I'll probably have to tie my knot before I can mount this because you're supposed to tie a knot in that big hole right there and mount this right here and I think I like that a lot better and I'll put these boards where I can get this to mount to the 34 get the other one to mount to the 32 tie my knots and go for it now don't look at my messy workbench I'm moving sorry I'll get this cleaned up but I want to put that kayak right here that's far enough away from that light if I ever decide to use it. And I think it's far enough out. So when I get my kayak cart slash workbench built on wheels, I can lower that, lower that kayak down, roll it straight out to my kayak trailer, and it'll be easy loading and everything else. And it'll also protect the kayak because I'm not sitting here dragging this thing on this concrete all the time. Inside the garage is not too bad. But you start dragging it out on the driveway, that's a lot rougher. And I don't want to mess up the bottom of my kayak. And while I'm doing all this, I've been slapping paint on these 2x4s to get them ready for the garden fence. So that's why I'm so busy. And then last night, I was cutting down a tree. I still got to clean up sometime today. So there you go, guys. That's why I'm so busy. I got four things going at once. Never mind the missing garage. But, that's why I'm so busy. Okay, guys. This is what I was talking about earlier. I put two one-inch, or one-inch, sorry, two 12-inch boards, two-by-fours this way. I'm a six-foot-long board. I put five screws a piece in there. Um, three inches from the end, three inches from the end. That gives me... I had screwed up so bad. That gives me 66 and an eighth, guys. So don't chew on me too hard. But there it is. Now it's ready to be hung up on the ceiling. That'll be the next task. Okay, guys. Uh, there was no way for me to record to get that mounted to the ceiling. But it's up there. Uh, I've got seven three-inch wood screws in it I'm gonna go buy some lag bolts tomorrow um, my opinion it's gonna to have to be modified some I'm going to have to raise it up I'm six foot tall and it's the bottom of it's not six foot tall yet so I think I'm tired please forgive the poor camera action those hooks, let me zoom in a little bit. Those hooks right there, if I got rid of that assembly right there, that would get me another three inches for sure. Like, take that bolt out, put an eye bolt through there, use a carabiner and a big carabiner, and I'd probably save two and a half, three inches right there not using those hooks. Um, same thing right here as you can see if I put a eye bolt through there and put me a carabiner oops let me raise the camera up I'm sorry put an eye bolt through there put a carabiner a big carabiner and then I could strap this inside the carabiner and I think that would get me 
maybe even more than three inches because I wouldn't have this spread right there. But overall, I like it. The brake, the only thing that's holding it up right now is the brake. Uh, only downfall I see to it is the brake. I physically have to get up here on the step stool and then pull this down because I can't get far enough in front to uh, release the brake. And I hadn't practiced enough. But there you go, guys. Oops, let me unzoom. I'm tired, guys. I'm sorry. But there you go. And I have a, no, a whole other kit for the second kayak. But I definitely, definitely want it up higher. I'm going to go to the Homie Depot tomorrow and get some eye hooks. Or high, I keep calling them eye hooks. Uh, eyelet bolts. And put those on there. And then some very big carabiners to put those straps through. Then I'm going to get some eye bolts and I can put some over here, then I'll have to probably put some over here. And uh, so when I get it raised all the way up, I can put a ratchet strap on it, pull it tight, and pull it the rest of the way to the ceiling. I want it as snug as a bug in a rug up against that ceiling so I don't hit my head on it because I really, really, really hate cussing. So I didn't show much work. I didn't show much work, but like I said, I can't find my tripod. Never mind my messy workbench. Y'all just forget about it. And then I put the V-notch thing right there so I can wrap the excess rope around it so it doesn't fall. Um, this is the RADS R-A-A-D Sports. It ends with a Z. Uh, kayak hoist kit. I give it, so far... The overall working of it and everything like that and me i've already raised this thing up and down four or five times i give it nine out of ten um the two two negatives i see right now is i want it higher to the ceiling and with that way it's designed i'm not high enough and then maybe it's me on the brake not getting far enough in front of the kayak to release the brake but one person can pull this 75 70 pound kayak up, pound kayak up there sorry so if you have a kayak or you're thinking about a kayak i definitely recommend this kit thank y'all for watching and i'll get to you on the next one